transitions. Some you choose, some choose you. In college, perhaps you decided to change majors. This means you examined the future and it appeared you were not headed where you wanted to head. So you shifted from, let's say, engineering to psychology. That's a move I made in my own college career. In his book, The Way of Transition, author William Bridges chronicles his beloved wife, Monty's two-year struggle with breast cancer. A counselor on the subject of transition, Bridges had the presence of mind to understand he and his wife were in the midst of one of life's inevitable transitions and basically took copious notes. Not to the point of insensitivity, but to form a basis from which to move on. Transition, according to Bridges, has a beginning, either voluntary or involuntary, a chaotic neutral zone, and an end, which establishes a new beginning. The length and struggle of the described neutral zone, it occurs to me, depends on whether you entered this transition willingly, by wanting or inviting some change, or unwillingly, now required to make some decision about what you want, now that you don't have what you had. Whichever it is, the powerful force involved is want. You initiate change by wanting something different. You bring the neutral zone to conclusion by deciding what you want next. Here's where things can get a little sketchy. Remember some of my discussions about why we want what we want? In the situation where you initiate change, there's a high likelihood that this transition is initiated for some pretty pure reasons. Sometimes even a power of no moment. You've set some limits and you can go no further. But if your want is reactionary to something or someone else thrusting a new situation upon you, then that want can be tied to bringing you back to your secure roots, your, your comfort zone, and potentially missing all the benefit that can be found in a transition. In other words, you end up right back where you started. I know products of abusive relationships who thankfully got out of them, usually by the abuser leaving, only to end up in serial abusive relationships later. So when it's time for a change because you're not getting what you want, then begin that transition. You've got a great chance of moving forward. But if you find yourself in the middle of a transition to which you feel you had no contribution, then stop, think, use that space between stimulus and response. What do you really want? The slate is potentially clean and you can paint it any color you want. I'm Kim DeMott, corporate co-driver, and this is another moment of clarity. Mm.